Hello everyone, my name is Margo and you're watching my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Margo Kamaya. So for today's episode of my uh, vlog series, I'll be talking about one of the greatest finds that I, that I have. And this is uh, the Big Read, BBC The Big Read Book of Books. So I think it's been more than 10 years when I walked into one of the local uh, bookstores here in the Philippines. It's called National Bookstore. And uh, usually on the weekends, I would, you know, just window shop. But for this particular weekend, or for that particular weekend, I was able to find this book. Um, it was Serendipitous. And at the time, it was only 249 pesos, so maybe about five or five to seven dollars but if this was sold in today's market i think it would be triple the price already so what i like about this is that uh the bbc or bbc the big read uh the story behind this was in 2003 uh, bbc radio came out with a survey um for its listeners um asking them to submit their favorite all-time favorite books so the according so what I like about this book is that it tells the background of the survey and then from that survey uh, they came up with the top 100 then down to the top 21 so according here the poll was for about two weeks and then there were like a hundred and forty thousand votes that has been that that was cast and uh, because of the results, so the top 21, what BBC Television did was they came out with a seven series um, that was dedicated to the top 21. And uh, yeah, so BBC Two documentary series, sorry. <laughs> okay, so for the top 21, I actually wrote a, a blog about this. You can visit my blog, thevisualtraveler.net. Just type in um, Big Read, okay? Uh, so I I'll just give you some of the trivia. So they listed down some of the trivia that was based on the top 100 books uh, that, uh, that the British at the time, or, the, or, or we um, listeners of BBC uh, voted. So I, I'm assuming that was like done in 20, 2003. It's already 2019, so that's about 16 years ago. If they ran another survey, I think the results will be quite different, especially nowadays that there's a lot of genre. You know, you have the steampunk, you have young adult, or uh, you also you may also have like um, more of the crime or thriller. Uh, books that would come out in the top 100 so at the time okay so the trivia at the time was uh, i just mentioned some it says here that 75 different authors uh came out or um so there are 75 different authors in the big read top 100 12 have more than one book in the top 100 okay and then there were two authors that have five titles. Can anyone guess? So it would be Charles Dickens and Perry Pratchett. Uh, three authors have four titles in the top 100. That would be Roald Dahl, J.K. Rowling, and Jacqueline Wilson. Women's top three favorite three, uh, big read books would be Rebecca, Pride and Prejudice, uh, Jane Eyre, and then men's top three favorite big read books would be Catch-22, 1984, and The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. The biggest selling novel of all time in the top 100 is J.R.R. Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings, having sold more than 100 million copies to date. So at the time, 2003. Uh, more than a quarter of the 75 authors in the top 100 were once teachers. Um, eight of the top 100 books have been translated into English from a foreign language. So I'll read that out. You have The Alchemist, uh, which, which is originally in Portuguese. 
you had Anna Karenina, Russian, The Count of Monte Cristo, French, Crime and Punishment, Russian, Love in the Time of Cholera, Spanish, you have 100 Years of Solitude, Spanish, Perfume, German, and another Tolstoy story, War and Peace in Russian. The longest book in the top 100 is A Suitable Boy by Vikram Seth, running to 1,474 pages. It is the longest single volume novel ever published in English, and it took Seth eight years to write. So just imagine 1,474 pages. Some of the authors also had um, or used pseudonyms or pen names. Uh, let's say, let's see, um, for Stephen King, he wrote under the name Richard Bachman and John Swithin. Then you also had uh, Charlotte Bronte. Uh, she wrote under uh, Lord Charles Wellesley. Okay. And then when voters were asked which books they had read four times or more, the five that came out on top were Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, Jane Eyre, The Lion, the Witch, and The Wardrobe. I think a, a couple of months ago, or maybe even last year, I, I also read in that uh, PBS, so the American uh, Public Broadcasting Station, also came out with their own uh, top reads. But I haven't seen the result of it or if they had any series or follow-up to that survey that, that they conducted. I, I hope that the Philippines also comes up with its own uh, list. That would be interesting not to find out what are the top reads for Filipinos. Alright, so I'll, I'll just mention, you know, what I, I, another thing that I like about this book is that, so every, every book that's included in the top 100, the format or the layout of the description is you have a short uh, bio about the author, the context or the story behind you know the book and then some more tidbits you know, about the book and the author and then it also has the story in a nutshell so the, the, I think the real purpose of coming up with this is to promote reading and that's one of the things that we really want kids you know whether it's in English it's in the vernacular it's in a foreign language reading is very important even if you use an ebook, a hard copy, um, a comic book, you know, as long as it promotes reading, I I'm a go for that. So, read out or read my my blog post about the big read. I I'm thinking of coming up with another one. Maybe I'll research to find out if they have. A new set of top 100 and one of the things that I would like uh, maybe Pinoy readers to do is to come up with our own list and uh, that would be again interesting uh, and uh, exciting you know uh, to know that Filipinos do love reading and we're here to promote that and I hope I hope that more people uh, would read okay would donate books, would buy books, would give books as gifts, and start a reading revolution in the Philippines. So thank you for watching. Uh, this is Margo. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time.